this time hopefully we are live i'm hoping 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 now are we live are we live are we live oh my god we are live right now so where's my pop-out chat let's get that sorted Get it to live chat. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to see you all. Nice to see you all. I'm just moving things about. There we go. There we go. I'm live, yes. Oh my God. I'm doing something new, right? I'm just going to explain now if you're wondering why it took me so long. I have to remember what TC said because he's been showing me how to use my new Streamlabs. Um, ee, you all know what I'm like. Ee, hiya, hiya, hiya. I'm just like, I, I panic. I can't help it. And I'm still like, is it all right? Is it all right? Is it recording? I don't think I'm recording. Oh, now I'm recording. So it's probably missed the beginning, but it don't matter, does it? Because this is a test, so for me, the recording bit, so I'm not bothered if it's, you know... Seriously, I'm not bothered. Well, we've already got our two thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Uh, I mean, two thumbs up. Two thumbs down. Thank you. So who have we got in up to yet? We've got Webley. We've got Bill. We've got JP. We've got John, we've got my hubby, we've got Irish, we've got Betty the beautiful lady there. We've got Drew, and we've got Rog, and we've got Ian so far. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to see you. Very nice to see you. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be typing in chat, so that's all right. Don't know what bloody thing I'm on. I don't tell you. It's like, ugh, I'm having a moment. Really, I've been having a moment. So, who else have we got? Uh, Liz, hello, sweetie. Chris is in. Village is in. Tolmac, hello, hello. Nice to see you guys are arriving. I'm just going to give you all a little bit of time to get in. And like I said, I'm sorry if it, um, everything's a bit ee because I'm, I'm using the new Streamlabs that I've not used before. And TC was here helping me sort it out. Hi, Emily. Um... But it's all new to me. So I'm pressing things and I'm like, oh, did I do that right? Did I not? You know what it's like. You all know what I'm like. I'm just so bad when it comes to computers and just anything like that. It really is scary. It's like, you know, it's a scary world. Computers are to me very, very scary. My hubby's lowered the chair down, which is quite nice. But I've just realised that I'm not in quite level. With my camera now, but hey, who cares? Timmy, Timmy, Timmy! Hello, hello! Nice to see you all. Well, I would start telling you what I had for tea if I was that bored, but I'm not. <laughs> have you, JP, and what are you finding them? I've been, what have I I've got a lot that I've got tested at the moment, which I'll show you all shortly. When I've made sure that everybody's in. Because I don't really want to start telling you what I've got. And then I have to start again. So while I wait, I'm just going to quick vape. Well, that gave it away, didn't it? Obviously, I've got the Vibe. The Vibe E-Pen 3. That's one of them. And the, um, I don't even know which one. I think it's a strawberry, actually, in this. Yes. It's a strawberry. Because these are pre-filled pods. But I don't mind. I've got quite a lot of them. Hi, Lucky. Nice to see you all. Well, we're up to 21 at the moment. Well done, guys, for coming in. You think the jewel sucks? JP, I've heard that too, sweetheart. That's why I've not bothered me off buying one to test it. Plus, I'm not even putting money in their pockets. But I know what you're doing because we are reviewers and we're supposed to review vaping products. But, you know... Well, I suppose I would start letting you know what I'm vaping on. Let me move my drink from the edge of the table first because we all... Oh, I didn't turn that on. Oh, well, I'll keep an eye on that. 
I might offer me a drink. We all know what I'm like. I knock things over, I break things. So maybe drink from the edge of the table. So let's start with my what I'm my buffet. Obviously the Vibe. There we go. Look, the Vibe E Pen Three. That's the one I'm on. So I've got that on the go because that is for review. I have also got the Usonic Zip. The Zip. Let's have a quick vape on that. Yes, I've put your G-class down. Hi, Pod. Alfie, hello, hello. Yeah, so I've got the Zip, the Usonic one, and in that I've got Pod Salt Strawberry. Now, what am I thinking of the Zip so far? Well, just to into a little secret, it's better than the previous one. Um, hold on, I've got it over here. The box, anyway, I can't find it. See the one? Oh, now I can. Yeah, the V3. It's better than the Rhythm. As I think personally, um, even though they're totally different things, because this is a pod, there's the rhythm. But I found that just a bit ugh, where this is more tolerable. Healthy, my darling, hello, hello. Chris Earl, hello. Hopefully I've not missed anyone. So, yeah, that's what I'm on. I'm on that one with, like I say, the strawberry pod salt. I've also got the, you know, I've got to get this right, wrong, AIO, AIO, yep. And it's the Inner Kern, what is it, Z Bip. And that's not too bad, right? It's got a little tight dust thing. Flavour's good in that. I'll tell you a little secret now what I'm not overly keen on. If I can get it out. Because the review's not even done yet, but... Oh, gosh, I can't even get it out. Yeah, anyway, right. You have to take this pod out. I got it out earlier. You have to take the pod out, guys, to change the airflow. So, if you want it direct along... You've got to take it out and change it. That, that's the annoying bit. You know what it is? I've just, I've just creamed all my hands, so it's all going to come out now. But it does. You pull the pot out, and you have to change it. And at the moment, I've got it direct to lung. I had it my after lung earlier. But I've got it sort of in between. And in that, I've got the black currant hiccup, sorry, pod salt. There we go. Hey, Nathan. So, that's what I've got on those. So, that's me for pods as such. Obviously, I have still got, yes, the passage on the carbon because the review went out today. Y yes, it Betty, it's the one that makes the noise. You can turn it off at the bottom, but it is the one that makes the noise for people who may be having eyesight problems so they'll be able to see it. So like I say, passage, carbon on top, carbon, carbon dual top side <laughs> with a passage. Now, I know everyone's going to scream at me. I've got IVG strawberry in it. But the reason why I've got some IVG juices is I use the sweet ones as well to test them out when I'm using any kind of, you know, device, as in tank or dripper, because I want to see how it performs with the sweet, sickly stuff as well as the normal good stuff. So I've got that. I've got out the old favourite, or should I say old faithful now, the tea class. And on that, I've got the bulk. Ready for review. Actually, good flavour from it. I've got a fair few mods, not at the moment because I'm testing. That I've still got the Blaz Berry. I've also got the Luna, the Asmodus Luna. 
and I have got my bunker on top because obviously, hi TC, this is one for review. And in that, IVG's Summer Blaze. Now, you're all going to curse me for this one. <laughs> I've got the S Snow Wolf, I want to say Mafeng, Mafeng. Anyway, baby, it's the kit. And I actually think it's quite cute and dinker. Apart from the wolf, that bit's a bit annoying. But, you know, it fits nice. It's quite a nice little mod for out and about in. And in that, I have got Blaz Mango. And lastly, guys, see, not, not loads. Lastly, I've just got old favourite because I've been enjoying it. And that is my single top side. And that's got the armadillo on top. And that's got an IVG blue raspberry. So I'm using a mix between Blaz and IVG at the moment and Pod Salt. That is what I'm at today, guys. That's, that's what I'm doing. So, you know, apart from this one, that you, you know, the vibe, it comes with its own pods. But I'm actually enjoying the vibe, believe it or not. Looking forward to doing the review. And by the way, guys, when I've done the review, because I've got loads of pods, this is something that will be in my next giveaway. And there will be a load of pods to go with it. And it's a good kit. That was given me for re purpose of review. So we've got 30 in now. So shall we start? Shall we start? Because I've seen what you're all saying. What's Chris the Jewels Mama Vapes? I'm getting the top side with the Yee Hee Chip in blue carbon. <gasps> you will you will love it. I love this. Absolutely love it. Do I think it's better? Do you know what? I I like the other one. I like the design of this. Don't get me wrong, and it being the carbon. Does it did it need a Yee Hee Chip though? Ugh, I don't know. Hi Chris Earl. Do you have any met mods? I haven't got any on me well, have I? Yes, well I have got the vapor giant here it's just that i weren't using mechs today that was all but i've got the vapor giant it's really nice actually and there was i don't know where it's gone now i did have another one out but my hubby's been in here so he's probably took it because it is his I've been using quite a few, and I, I can't find it. I went on a search for another Mac. So I've got that. But saying that, this is an unregulated squonker as well, guys, by the way. Hi, Taz. How are you, sweetheart? Nice to see you. I have my stack purge truck. Yeah, oh, lovely. Candy from 12 Monkeys. Okay. Knuckle RDA. Strawberry jam. Mm -mm. Titan mod. Yum. you got some nice things on the go there, Chris. You're making me... Uh, do you know what? There's no point even asking Village, because Village has got a shop. Village will have a shop on the go. Isn't that right, Village? A flipping shop. You'd have everything. I can't think where that other bloody mech's gone. How weird. And it's not one you could lose, because it's huge. But anyway, so yeah, I've got a mech on the go, if need be. Hello, El Sid. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. Well, let's put it this way, Jules. Both your other top sides have packed in. So, yeah, yeah, they have. Although, babe, oh, I ain't got it in here. It's in the living room. One of them's working again. The silver one. I've left it in the lounge. Oh, good here. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's start. Things that make you go, hmm. Ow. Oh. Things that make you go, hmm. So let's do this one. People who refer to vaping as smoking, even other vapors who ask, what are you smoking? I mean, seriously, bitch, I'm vaping. That's my thoughts. Anyway, what do you guys think to that? 
I pretty much have got a couple more mods on the way, Jules. Oh, you've always got a couple more. My top, my top side, it's in there. This, oh, God, I gave it you, didn't I? No, no, yours is here, babe. Here's your top side. They don't work now. My silver one's in there. So, guys, what do you think about people who say, refer to vaping as smoking and say what you're smoking on and things like that? What's your thoughts on it, guys? What's your thoughts? Wankers, it's vaping. <laughs> not fucking smoke. Exactly. Exactly. They should be slapped. Yes, Drew. <laughs> it's vaping. I only smoke when I'm on fire. Yep. Although I'm smoking. <laughs> not really. I'm just <laughs> I wish. Timmy, it's a habit using the word smoking. I think people get too wrapped up in terminology. The main point that they get off the ciggies. Yep. Remember, guys, there's never a wrong answer here. And everybody can, you know, we can talk it out. There's no arguments. There's no right or wrong answer. Hello, Antoinette. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Irish, 90% of the time they either don't know any better or it's a slip of the tongue. Yeah, that's that. Now, you've got onto my sub question because that was it. Don't they, don't they know the difference? And it, like you say, it's a slip of tongue. I only smoke after sex, but that's down to lack of lube. Oh, oh really, hubby? Really? You wish? Ha, <laughs> <coughs> so he just swapped onto the PC now. Okay, TC. Ian, badly informed members of the public who have no idea of the difference. Yep. Bill's saying it annoys me and I tend to correct people and explain we must get the definition and lose the stigma of smoking. Yeah, I tend to correct people. Don't go in dry... Oh, don't, 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 don't even start there. Honestly. <laughs> Jay Jerry, hello. My thoughts are they just don't know as not being into vaping very much. Yeah, it could be. Village saying other vapors that refer to vaping as smoking need to be flogged <laughs> within an inch of their lives. Well, yeah, I think other vapors should know the difference by now, but mm, in the early stages, probably not. I, you're on IVG Lemon Millions on the broadside with Bonzo. Lovely, Chris. Make sure you've got um, live chat on, guys, by the way. Um, Antoinette agrees with you, Bill. What's my oh, my hubby's on about Molly cells in his nine batteries. What was the question? I got distracted, Liz. <laughs> right, the question was people who refer to vaping as smoking, even other vapors who will say to you, What are you smoking? You know, what's your thoughts? Because obviously, what you're smoking is they, they want to know, you know, what juice you're on, what, or what what mod, and what you're smoking, and what's your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts? My other half still calls my vape your C thingy thing after two and a half years of vaping. Well, there you go, Irish. There's a joke in there about blowing smoke; it rings, but I'm too tired. For... <laughs> Irish. <laughs> What does Alfie say? Best thing about vaping is no one wants to, yeah, crown your fag off you every two minutes. Very true, actually. Because if you remember that, back when we all smoked, everyone was like, oh, you've got, you got spare fags and things like that. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Webley says, considering IVG gets absolutely ripped, seem to be a lot of people vaping it. I use it, Webley, for the fact it is so sugary. And obviously gunks up your coils and everything. So when I'm using a new, um, like this, the bulk, I don't just use normal, you know, sort of juices that unsweet. I use the high ones as well, so I can see how it performs. I don't. Re I'm not reviewing IVG. I do review juices, as you know, but not IVG. But the cheapest chips for me to buy for the fact of reviewing purposes only. Taz says, give them a good headbutt and say, it's not smoking, you fuckhead. Now get it fucked. Get fucked. Get the fuck. Sorry. They are fucking idiots. Simple, says our Thomas. Hubby, I can't fault Molly's. Oh, he's on about batteries as with Chris, so we'll ignore that. John, my wife says it's still smoking because there is, uh, oh yeah, nick in it. But, yeah, but it isn't smoking still, is it? It was the tobacco that made it. But hey ho, Liz, smoking, slap around the face, the stupid cunts. Liz! No bro, hello! YouTube is dead, no room for vaping anymore. 
Really? I think because of the name Isig, maybe, yeah, why people call it smoking. Jay Jerry, you could be right there. You could be right. Because people, they are called Isigs. So, yeah, IVG will test your course for sure. Exactly, Bill. And that's why I've got IVG on the go as well at the moment. I mean, I don't usually, when I've done my live shows, I've not actually got IVG on the go, as you've noticed. It just so happens, obviously, because I've been test I'm testing something still, that I'm now on the sweet stuff with it. Same as, you know, this, I've, done for, I've already done the review, but it was already going through the sweet stuff at the time. So I'm still finishing, you know, what's in this. So I'm not going to lie to you all and say, well, I've got such and such in when I haven't. So I'm being really honest. I use the IVG and sweet shitty juices just for the simple fact it gooks up your cores and everybody it lets me know how certain things perform. That's all. Irish, there is a nick in patches that's not smoking. They are very hard to light up, to be honest. Well, true. I really need to own vaping and vape devices. <laughs> Yes, exactly. So we're all saying, really, it's the easy... People who say it, sometimes it's because they're misinformed. Other times it's because it's easy. You call it easy. Hello, you sexy man. Hello, Castle Vape. Hello, darling. Nice to see you. Anne Tetley's here. Hello. Yeah, demonetized, Mo. It's, that's all it is. Videos aren't being removed. Just, we're just People are just getting demonetized now. Exactly, so much time to move away from yeah, and we're trying to get on to vape tube. But once vape tube's got everything sorted, obviously, like live streaming and this, that, and the other, you'll be getting us live streaming over there as well. Because obviously, what's going on with YouTube really is pitch. Oh, by the way, guys, I am vaping on somewhere else, my pixie. I've got my pixie, and in that, I've got subida. Do, 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 do. Because I'm not saying the real word we know. It's because I've been in a lot of pain and things like that. So, subida. That's the reason why I'm on that. So, moving on to the next question. Because we've all agreed to disagree as such. There's all different reasons why people still refer to vaping as smoking. So, my next one. And this is... This one... I, I, I just... Ugh. Right. Crab checks. For fuck's sake. What do they mean? What's that all about? Crab checks. Because clouds are in the bleeding sky. What the fuck? Cloud checks. I can't bear it. People say, cloud check, bro. It's like, well, for one, it's not a cloud. Is, well, it's a cloud of vape. So it's a vape check if you want to know. Clouds are up in the sky. But what do you all think about this? Where you go on, um, say, Facebook, and you're in a group, and it's like, cloud check, and everybody's posting pictures of them doing it. What? What's your thoughts on it? To me, I... I it, ugh. To me, it's like, Wah! it just, Wah! I'm not even saying any naughty words. I'm just, Wah! so cloud checks. I could be, you know, the one person here who doesn't mind it. I just, ugh, it just does me in. Thank you. Pardon another one. Cringy as fuck, to be honest. Yeah, Bill, cloud checks are a pain and give us a bad day. Yeah, I don't heard them. Let's do a cloud check, guys. Oh, there we go. It, I mean, seriously, it's annoying. Yes, Irish clouds are made of vapour. But I, it's they just turn on cloud check and they're doing it all on Facebook and that. They are a bit silly, Mo, aren't they? Google advertisements have never allowed ads. Oh, wow, tobacco products. I'm surprised vaping channels have been able to monetize for so long, to be honest. Yeah, true. But, it, but vaping is not tobacco so you know it, i know we're going to get on to that demonetized thing and i think we're going to have to um, let's finish with cloud checks then we can talk about the demonetized because that is something that makes you go um, before i carry on hope people finish so alfie i hate cloud checks and it goes right through me hearing it lol it just makes people look like twats yeah it does ian cloud checks are for gays gay seriously Cloud check. Anyone want a cloud check? Do you know what? I don't have that on my any of my group pages. And it would be, you know, if someone did it, I'd have to remove it because it does me head in. I just had a vape and produced some vapor. Big whoop. <laughs> I live alone, so it doesn't matter. Well, exactly, Bill. 
but it's this Facebook thing and everyone's posting pictures or videos of him doing it. And I just think to myself, what the fuck? Why? It's enough now. You've been doing it for so long now. I've had enough. Because it started off so long ago and people are still doing it now. It's like, get a grip. Seriously. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Nearly could dawn. Pass the pass the pass these angels. Could you turn your volume up, please? You want me to turn myself up? <laughs> Here it goes. How about that? Am I loud enough now? Just let me know. If not, I can go higher or I can bring my mic closer. Cock check. Now, Mobro, that I'd be interested in. Tell you, I'm with you, Jules, but since TPD, they. How they look on vaping gear as it's mad. Yeah, exactly. Mine's bigger than yours, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind a cock check <laughs> rather than a cloud check. Seriously. It's like when people used to post their tea on Facebook. Uh -huh. I don't fold mine enough of anyone. <laughs> if I really go for it, I just annoy the block of flats I live in as I set the fire alarm off. All oh, right. No problem, Antoinette. Now my husband's telling me he's deaf. He's a cock. I turn the volume down on the TV. <laughs> That's my windows broken. So am I too? Am I too loud now? Group raid on George Page. No, Sadie. No, you bad boy. No group raiding on my page doing cloud checks. No. And by the way, am I now too loud? Because if I am, I could turn it down again. I, I don't <laughs> Up down. Shit, I had to turn the volume down, just burst my eardrums. So, <laughs> so I'm fine for Antoinette, and now I'm deafening all of you. <laughs> Look, I'm staying like this. Everyone else turn your volume down, because Antoinette needs to hold you up. <laughs> Hello there, it's Essence Clad, Andy Fretwell in the house. Oh, my husband's saying it's perfect. Of course it's perfect, it's me. <laughs> no, your volume is fine, Jules. Oh, thank you. You taking pi stop taking pish now. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Right, before we move on to my next lot of questions then, do you want to address then, shall we address this demonetization thing? Shall we do it? Let's do, do not, you do, mo bro. Mo bro. Behave. You're on your iPad. Uh, iP iPad? iPad. Okay, so everyone's saying it's fine. So demonetization we knew it was going to happen um they've already because they started demonetizing some people's things a while back it's just now got to the point where they're just they're just doing it and you, what you earn is not that best isn't the best anyway is it i could get my wireless speaker if it's bothering anyone it's not bothering anyone that was taking the piss antoinette of me so it's just one of them things it happens. I mean, when VapeTube get going, we will be able to... I love you too, though, Mo. You know I do. <laughs> Liz, you're a see you next Tuesday. You are. Um, when VapeTube get their shit together, prop, or everything going, there will be... You'll be able to then do the ads and get monetization and all that, which is a great, great thing. But we've just got to wait until... It, vape tubes caught up a little bit more that doesn't mean stop using it it means guys you need to keep using it you need to keep going over there you need to keep supporting the likes of me and your reviewers that you like showing the love subscribing to us and you know even if it's you've seen the review on youtube please watch it on vape tube too it all helps the demonetization thing is because YouTube is American based and Big Tobacco are losing money, running scared, really. Bill, yes. And they've got a lot of people who are anti vape, haven't they, in America? And that's what it's about. Where Vape Tube isn't. I mean, it's a British thing, it's a UK thing. But please, guys, I mean, I'm on there. Come over, subscribe, um, watch my shit, even if you're watching it again for the second time because you've watched it on YouTube. Watch it there, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment because I will, you know, I'm trying to respond to both. And once they start doing live, I will go over there actually and start doing my lives. And I'd like, you know, just, I want to see how that goes as well, doing my live shows there. It would be nice if I can do it on both, but it, what's better is the way YouTube's going, it'll be great if we can all just, all the reviewers can just go, adios, 
and just all moving on the same day sort of thing and just do all that shit just on vape tube only. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, Liz, it does for a lot of people at the moment. That's what I mean. They've still got a few things to iron out. But, you know, we've still got to keep promoting it and supporting it and we'll get there. I'm sure we will. Webly. But VapeTube will never get the sub counts as YouTube. I know that. People that aren't hardcore vapers will watch a vape vic on YouTube. But with vape type, yeah. And, and I totally get that, Webly. The will. You're never going to get it. Hi, Rev. Nice to see you. But, yeah, it just, it's one of them things. So, what's that Ian saying? It pisses me off that YouTube want you to pay for premium so you can watch videos without the adverts. Exactly, Ian. Exactly. Why should we pay? I'm going to start premiering on VapeTube before uploading on YouTube. Good idea, JP. That would be awesome. It would be, wouldn't it, Antoinette? It would be awesome. And you can talk about, yes, Subida on VapeTube. Yeah, and we can review Subida because I'm going to start reviewing only sub it up on vape tube um i've got one on the go as you know and i'm actually going to start reviewing just so it'll just be strictly for vape tube only but it'll be it'll be sub it up and the, the one i've got is from chris empire vape and he's got actually more come in some good stuff because i was chatting with him today so i'm going to start doing that just on vape tube what was really saying it's not just vaping, a lot of other channels have been hit too. Yes, it, you're right, Village. It's just YouTube having a shit fit. Vic went through it all in one of his WhatsApps. True, he did, actually, and I remember. What's Iris saying? Look, in my honest opinion, no one was supporting themselves on their channels in the vaping community using monetization. It's not a great loss. No, it's not, because they don't turn that much money anyway. There's not much money to be earned on the monetization really isn't i mean that's why most you know people need really do need the patreons and people like that what's our j jerry saying babe you could be bigger than you if they get the live stuff working and lots of big channels ditch youtube true j jerry vape tube struggles at the moment but has to be the future yes bill and it's because it's early days still and they've got a lot of things to quirk out and you got to remember youtube's been going for such a long time now and even they fuck up don't they really do um what's my i need to get my vape tube channel up and running to showcase some of my stands you do i keep i just keep nagging my hubby do what's essence saying what youtube is doing is wrong but could the fda big tobacco be forcing them to do this essence well, we'll just call it Andy. Andy, I think you've got a point there. I really do. I think you've got a real good point there, darling. Quick vape. Where's my fucking button? Oh, it's there. It's side. I don't know which one. I forgot what mod I'm on. Hi, Rev. Oh, yeah. Vape tube need an app system. JP, they're doing. They are working on that as well. But you think about it. Vape tube are trying to work on a lot of things. A lot of things at the moment. And it's going to take time. Oh, excuse me. I've just not long had my dinner before we've come on here. And now I've had, I had salmon and my fish is repeating on me. I know you really wanted to know that. Yeah, so vape tube, it's going to take time for him to get there. Because if you think back, probably YouTube in the early days weren't that great. It's, you know, it takes time. and we'll, But it will get there. I don't know, Ian. What the, the one that Amazon was supposed to be starting, I've heard nothing about since. Nothing. Yes, Saint, that's right. It's nothing. It's not just to do with vaping. Although, I think some of it, you know, Big Tobacco's probably had a bit of a lean or someone, but a lot of channels are having the same problem. Yes, yeah, Stevie has got to get on vape tube. It's all about the money. FDA, Big Tobacco, Sleeping YouTube, millions. Yeah, but it's also like, you know, other channels are being hit. Was it some gaming channels? I can't remember. Did someone say some of the gaming channels have been hit or something? Or is it um computer channels or something? What's Irie saying? Now, Data Essence, it's more the advertising companies putting pressure on YouTube. Like Disney isn't going to want Cinderella advertised on Nick Salt Reviews. It, well, you've got a, you, the optics aren't good. You've got a point there. 
they should uh, focus on the live streaming first. Well, it's easy to tell, say what they should do first, but everybody's got a different opinion, aren't they, Jay Jarry? But I respect what you're saying as well. And, I th you know, I'm, they are working on it, and I'll be glad when they've got it done. But if they just started on that first, then there'll be other stuff that'll be in, like, people are going, oh, well, I didn't get this. So, you know, you can't please everyone. Antoinette, so by subscribing to you, it will get go to vape tube i don't have to do anything special on my end no you just need to subscribe to me on vape tube as well antoinette because you'll find me there and you'll find the, all my same stuff on there the only thing is my live shows are on is youtube i will be starting to put more onto there again but it's all youtube for my live shows at the moment but yeah subscribe to me on vape tube would be great my sweet village ian they have twitch so i think it was just a case of them buying them yes you're right amazon tube the name hello paul it worked tonight just cooked all porterhouse steak medium chips onion rings stilton sauce yummy oh my god hello melinda nice to see you just finished dinner so have i i'm all right sweetie i just i just keep belting i'm rep I know that's not a nice thing to say because I'm supposed to be a lady. But my fish is repeating on me because I had salmon. <laughs> yes, they are sainty as well. Tech channels are getting smashed at the moment too. Hi, Craig. Nice to see you. Oh, sorry, P P TC. Your PC TC's PC just crashed on him. That was a bit of a tongue twister, weren't it? Live streaming does need a lot of server time and power. It does. Webly, apparently Apple will be releasing a YouTube style platform into in twenty twenty. That'll be interesting to see as well. That will be. Plus we can put clickable links on VapeTube. Exactly, JP, we can. And the only reason why I don't I haven't really been putting them on, I've done the odd time, is because I forgot because I've got into such a the the routine of not putting them on. And I really need to get my mind out of that so I can do it on there. I'm watching you on VapeTube now. Oh, Antoinette, you're so lovely. Antoinette's lovely. Melinda, oh, you had nachos. I won't. I know. Sorry, I weren't on last week. So sorry. I had no internet. Nobody round here had internet. It was really quite crazy in the end. Everybody had to talk to them, their partners or husbands and wives. It was really strange having to make conversation. Do you know what me and Stevie did? We looked at each other and said, should we make conversation? And they went, nah, I got the PlayStation out and started playing games. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what we do. <laughs> Antoinette's confused. Why, darling? Hi, Chris Lethal. Right, advertising the thing for for Seema Jokers, they can set the ads to display certain ones. Yeah, true. Just eating leftover lasagna. Oh, there's nothing wrong with leftovers. So, are you bushcraft? Look, your vapes. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> hey Gibbs, you are my sweet. How are you? Not seen you and caught up with you in such a long time, my darling. We need to catch up. Well, right. So we've done that. A random one that we weren't going to do, but it's you know what? Mo brought it up, and it's a valid one. So we've chatted about that. So we'll go back to my little list of things that make you go hmm. Well, things that make me go hmm. So. <coughs> Craig, you can't beat homemade lasagna. So, people who big up shit juicers. You know what I mean? At now, we all know taste is subjective. But what the fuck are these guys doing? Because we all know some of these juicers, we've all tasted them, we all know they're absolutely shit. And yet you've got some people bigging them up. And you know that, you th that it's because they're getting them, giving them whatever... What's the fucking point of that? Why big up shit juice when we all know it's shite? Thoughts, guys? Because I could do it, couldn't I? <laughs> if it'll get me somewhere, you know what I mean? Uh, what's this? Rev, even because Hank got, de yes, demonetised, tens of millions of views chasing tornadoes and deemed not family friendly for advertising. Yeah, exactly. It's happening across the board. It's ridiculous. The need shooting. <laughs> <laughs> bigging up shite juices i mean seriously why are you doing it why are you do i'm trying to think of one of my the worst one i had a really horrible juice right i've given <laughs> i've given tc to review because fucking vile 
And I, 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 was, I was honest, it's vile. But you've got some twat out there saying, lovely. Oh, it's lovely. And now we all know taste is subjective. But when so many people know it tastes like paint thinner, what the fuck? So, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting cross, aren't I? <laughs> they might honestly have a lack of taste buds. Well, Liz, that's true. But if they have, then they shouldn't be reviewing juice, should they? That's the thing. What is shit to some people is not shit to... Yes, ain't it? I totally agree. But there's some juices we all know are absolute the dog's fucking... Ugh, it's, it's dog poo. And yet they're doing it. They're getting paid to do it? Mm, don't know. It's called money or influence. They're either being paid or have been promised heaps of exposure. Yeah, this that's true, Craig. Even if it's shit, they might get some sales out of it. They might... But it's not the companies. It it's other re some reviewers and, or people on Facebook. You know, it's people like that saying it's the best thing ever. You know, it's like me going. I'm not saying this. This vape's absolutely amazing. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, I know it's hand sanitizing gel, but oh my god, seriously, that'll be what it's like. So, uh, what's really saying? They do it because they're grubby little fame hungry wankers. <laughs> Bill, somebody must like the juice unless it was done as a joke. Well, Bill, I just don't know. Some I've tasted a lot of juice and I've spoke to a lot of other you know, reviewers I trust and they taste these juice and they're the same as me. Ooh. And I've talked, you know, not just reviewers, I've talked to, you know, subscribers, people I know who are friends and they're the same. Ooh. So, you know, what is it? Yeah, money. Exactly, yeah, money. Nick Salt's taste shit to me, but others say they're good. Own brew. I've not tasted own brew. Uh, the only ones I've got on with is actually pod salt, believe it or not. Because um, Nick Salt's tend to be too harsh on my throat and set me off coughing with my asthma. But, yeah, people with no to taste don't know. Yeah, Nathan, I would say your favourite is sex in the beach liquid. Exactly, Nathan. Exactly. And I've passed that on to TC and he's got to review it. <laughs> Now, if he says it's lovely, I'm going to go around his ass and slap him. <laughs> what is the best VGPG ratio, 70-30 or what? That depends on you. I'm a 70-30 person myself, Antoinette, um, as a rule. But it, it depends because, obviously, if, it depends on your setup as well because mouth to lung and things like that, you know, you need different setups. Is that a bot shot, Jules? What's a bot shot? Yeah, Liz, that hand sanitizer probably does taste better. <laughs> exactly. You know, we've always got hand sanitizer around. I often w wonder how some juices get through the company tasting. Yes, testing pr process. So do I. Um, is it red liquid? Red bot? Red red liquid from red bot? Oh, oh my God. They're vile. Absolutely vile. Vile, vile, vile. And yet, you know, this. The, the cell and you're like really Antoinette I like 70 30 there you go Melinda they are what well, hoping that people will watch them and decide that they are an authority on juices and such so will bump up their views and influence yeah but why lie I just don't get it it was the best video oh, thanks Nathan because I was like gipping <laughs> saying to people like different things some like stuff that others hate it is what makes us all different true like i say guys it's all everybody's hands theory there's no right or wrong everybody's you know different but i i have i have seen somebody review a juice that i just think to myself oh my god i'd rather drink terps really badly but hey hey ho rog says um when it's taste, you've got to agree to disagree with people. Yes, because it is subjective. Some people are only after numbers, not quality or content or quality of advice. Yeah. Excuse me again. It, it, that's true. It varies with the setup and flavour. It does. True with that as well. Um, Irish always talk to Liz. 88 vape. <laughs> Webley, you know that 88 vape shy. <laughs> True Irish, but he doesn't, so it's all good. Well, but there is people out there that like 88 vape. <laughs> yeah. Red or disgusting, they are. But the juice they had as samples was not. 
what was in the bottles. Exactly. But then they send you out the proper stuff and you're like, ooh, ooh. That's like fucking toilet water. You know, somebody's been using that loo for a week and never flushed it. That's, that's what it tastes. Oh, my God. It's disgusting. So, yeah. Village, it depends. Antidote. PG can be a bit harsh. Oh, you're talking about Yeah, 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 yeah. Nathan, I rate the fruit twist range. You ever tried them, Jules? I haven't yet, darling. No. Irish, I love taba what? Tabasco and tomatoes, but I hate bloody berries. People can be weird. Well, they can, yeah. They can. Sorry about that. I'm getting Instagram notifications. <laughs> but, yeah, 88 Vape, another one. Yeah, I mean, some people like it, some don't. All right, most don't. <laughs> I was actually going to get some in. I was thinking of buying it in. You know, get some pan shot ones and doing it. Alive. I'm to here, alive. Because, really, seriously. And I do, I try, I try and be as honest as I can. And I always say to people, taste is subjective, guys. It really is. But when you've got, say, a good 9 out of 10 people saying it, 8 out, eight out of 10 people saying something shy, you know what I mean? It's shy, isn't it? <laughs> There's no smoke without fire. <laughs> what liquid is your favourite at the minute? Nathan, I ain't got a favourite at the minute, sweetheart, because I'm using quite a varied amount for testing things again so i haven't actually got a favorite at the moment because i've got a lot on the go no favorites at the moment so let's go on to the next question are you ready 88 vape is cheap and available in yes and i think that's what it is built 88 vape is cheap so you've got people who are on the lower income bracket it's affordable for them and that's what's good as well, because it's keeping them off the cigarettes. Some people think my rum tastes like paint thinner, but others actually enjoy it, especially if I mix it with Coke. Well, yeah, exactly. I love humble juice at the moment. It's real good. I love my humble juice. I must admit, I do love humble. I've actually got some. Oh, which drawer is it in? Oh, here it is. Humble! But I've already done the reviews for them, so... Bucky, anyone? Exactly. I don't like Bucky. <laughs> so, yeah, you've got to, you know, I like Cookie Twist and Honeydew Melon Chew by Twist. There you go. I've not tried any of these. But I know taste is subjective. We all know that. But when you've got about 8 out of 10 telling you it's, it's disgusting and then you get this one person, oh, it's the best thing ever. But you've got to remember it's cheap and... For people who are struggling for money, it's better to buy that and vape rather than smoke, isn't it? So, you know, there's two sides to this coin. Irish, one euro e-liquid is the same people who do one pound e-liquid. A euro worth less than a pound. Therefore, what they are saying is a pound is overpriced for their juice. Right, I get you. Yeah, I know you do, John. I flipping hate tobacco juices. But it's not... Because they're disgusting, they're just not my. I, I, they are disgusting to me, but they're not a, a disgusting juice. Does that? Am I making sense? That it's just not to my taste profile. There's a difference when something is still not synthetic. Where some of these, I'm on about some of these shit juices that are so synthetic. Like I say it's like drinking paint thinner. Really awful. Craig, I don't like whiskey juices neither. Webley, 88 Vape actually make premium juices. Personally, I don't like it, but you'd be surprised who they actually make juice for. Well, yeah, I'm on, but the, the, the little shoppy ones are yucky, but they, they they do have their place in the market. They do. And I, I, I totally believe that. So even though I'm like, Ugh, they do have their place. Expo, October, if I can get some. Liz, I'll be there. Your review made me try it, Jules. Good, Alfie. Melinda, also, when you just get off of the smokes, your taste buds are shot. They are. So, the icky flavours are fine to start with. I've just got your taste back. Yeah, and you go for a better juice. You're quite right there. Bill, we have a B&M store now, so I brought a couple to try so I can be honest with people and ask about juices. Yeah. Pud, I quite often say I don't like a liquid, but say I can tell the ingredients and flavours are okay just now to my preference. Yeah, exactly, and I do that. Something could be still very smooth, 
you know, things like that. And it's not synthetic. It's just not to my taste t profile. That That's it. But then there can be some things that I go off. Oh, oh, my God, that is just wrong. It's just like acid, you know, things like that. I don't like them either, Jules. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Iris is talking to Village. Flat cap. Hello, sweetie. You're always late, but it don't matter. I'm looking forward to your show on Saturday. I do believe Saturday is it flat cap. You've got your show on live. Your first new one. Um, reviewer versus um, flat cap reverses reviewer. Start Saturday. I feel like I'm still smoking a cigarette with tobacco flavours. Antoinette, I'm the same. I, and I, 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 I've never really liked tobacco flavours. I've never even liked to taste tobacco when I smoke, which is weird. So, I hate tobacco juices, but if I review them, I have to be honest and say, yes, it tastes of tobacco, just not for me. Exactly wrong. We've got to be honest. So, we've got to say, you know, it's not synthetic, this, that, and the other. But it's just, even though I, I cringe and everyone sees me pulling faces and, and gipping, because I don't like it. But it's not because it's um, synthetic, it's because it's tobacco. So, yeah. Shantanae, by vaping, my taste has improved so 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 much. Mine has too. I won't be, I won't be able to watch it on Saturday. Oh, that's a shame, Liz. You'll have to watch the um, recap of it because um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Sorry, vape time. Me and my little zip. When I used tobacco flavors, I found it too easy to pick up a cigarette again. Yeah, I suppose you would, but I mean, when I stopped, I mean, I'm going back like nine years, that was all you could get was tobacco and menthol. And menthol. That's all you could get. It was like, and then when you got some flavors, and don't get me wrong, some of these flavors, when you look back now, you're like, oh my God, I might as well lick the pavement. But to me, it was like the best thing ever. It really was because I was getting my taste buds back and it was like getting me off menthol and tobacco. It was like amazing, absolutely amazing. So, yeah, it's just, you know, the way fact it is, isn't it? So let's move on. Uh, do, 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 do. So as I said about these re reviewers, no, I didn't. <laughs> I think I've already moved on. Yeah, so my next one is about reviewers or viewers. How do you, as viewers, decide which reviewers to watch? And are they trustworthy? <coughs> Village. No, sorry, we haven't gone too far now. Ian, I vape NET, net tobaccos all the time and they do, don't taste like cigarettes. There you go. It was the same when I stopped. I stopped in 2013. Yet, yeah, Melinda, some times flavors you think you won't like can surprise you i don't really like menthol or watermelon flavors but i have a watermelon and menthol juice that i absolutely love well exactly so you've got to try everything and I'm, I'm quite happy to try it all that's the thing i'm not quite i am quite happy to try them all and taste is subjective we all know that and like we said, as i just said when i first um got off the cigars and vaped when I finally got flavours, there were the worst flavours ever. But when I got them, I was thought they was the best ever. So, well done, John. So, guys, what do you think? How do you, as viewers, decide which viewer reviewers to watch? And are they trustworthy? And I'm asking you, to be honest, do you find the reviewers you watch trustworthy? And, you know, how do you decide which ones are the right ones then? And while you think of that, I'll have another drink so I can belch. S yeah, hubby, okay. Although they did have one that I actually enjoyed. Was it Fluffy Nuts, hub? Did I like Fluffy Nuts? No, I didn't. It was um, Tobacco Crunch. Yes, Antoinette, being real, giving their opinion. But so does that make them trustworthy then? Because they're doing that, I would imagine so. Mm. Bill, I watch them and see what they do. If they vape similar to me, I enjoy watching them and learn more to help the new vapors. I think I can trust the ones I do watch. Lovely. Well, guys, don't forget a thumbs up if you like the show. Thumbs down if you don't. Pud, I watch whoever entertains me. <laughs> Doesn't take long to work out when someone hasn't a clue either. <laughs> Buds, why are you watching me still then? <laughs> I 
ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I only watch if they send me money. Oh, right, done. I, I'm, I'm, I better send you your next lot of money, aren't I? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing now. Melinda, for me, with reviewers, it depends on how they come across and also what other reviewers think of them. Some reviewers are well known for being trustworthy with their reviews, so I tend to watch them. Yeah. And I do still watch reviewers, guys. I still have, you know, people I like to watch and I enjoy. Ian, I tend to watch a reviewer for a couple of times and I can tell if they are worth my time, like you, Jules, Vic, Chris and Dina. Oh, thank you so much, Ian. Because I'm just a nut job, aren't I? <laughs> if I like everything, they then they can fuck off. <laughs> if they like everything, then they can fuck off. <laughs> okay, Liz. <laughs> I better not like it. I better make sure. Note to self, do not like everything because I love Liz. <laughs> Webley agreed with Dawn. John, that's true, Stevie. Yep. Irish, I watched three videos before I sub to see if A, I can stand them and B, I can trust them. If they fail both, I don't sub. That's nice to know, Irish. That is really nice to know. Never thought of it that way. That's quite a good way to do it. Timmy, I picked the ones who are nice and personable. I don't know, Jules. Are you trustworthy? Nah, I don't. You think so? Do you reckon? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm a bit weird, you know me. <laughs> yeah, I hope, so. I hope I'm trustworthy. Alfie, no, no, not all. There's one I used to watch and didn't like at all. Very false, and they thought it was more of a cloud check fashion show, not for me. Yeah. Personality is a big thing, and I think that Liz as well. That With some of my favourite reviewers, personality does shine out. It really does. Oh, thanks, Goobs. I'm awesome. You're such a sweetie, Antoinette. How in-depth they go into the review so I can learn. Yeah, and I don't go in-depth, though. I'm not one of these reviewers who goes really in-depth. Because I think there's some great reviewers out there who do it. So I'm not even going to try because I would never be as good as them. So I do it my way. Um, Alfie, Jules, you are very good to watch. Very down to earth. Oh, thank you very much. Sainty, <laughs> show Jules raffle tickets and you'll see how trustworthy he is. You see, Sainty, that's exactly what I was thinking when he said it. I was thinking raffle tickets, raffle tickets, raffle tickets, raffle tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Melinda, I might not watch every review that they do, but if they are professional in their reviews and honest, I'm more likely to subscribe. Sorry, I'm, I thought I was going back to say, and then if they come across as being know-it-alls. Yeah, true, I'm more like that as well. Bill, tend to sub to find them easily, then watch what they say about gear, I know. If they fuck that up, I'm gone. Yep. Yeah. Oh, thanks, John. Don't give away my secret. I won't goobs. <laughs> Too in-depth is boring, to be honest. It, yeah, it can get a bit boring. To me as well, I must admit, I, I, I'm a I'm a bugger for skipping bits in, in reviews, fast-forwarding things that I'm not interested in. Um, I tend, to, this is really, sorry, I tend to, I'm very picky with my subs. I generally look for people who are themselves. I find it very easy to sniff out the fakes. Yeah. I don't, you see. I don't find it easy to sniff out fakes. I'm just too gullible. <laughs> Melinda, I also watch different reviewers with different styles to get an overall opinion on an item. Yes, I do that too, Melinda. I watch different ones to get different points because they'll, they'll have different bits that they'll say, if that makes sense. So you're getting a more well-rounded opinion. Lethal, I'm anti-American apparently, so don't watch my videos. Oh, bless you, Lethal, you're not anti-American at all. Right, Tattoo, hello, you sweetie. Oh, thanks, Antoinette, I love you too. It's nice to see so much love. Hey, Village, how's that? Tattoo, I was so, I'm gutted, I wanted, my husband wanted a bloody hex and I wanted to nick it. I skip stuff, this is Bill's, by the way. I skip stuff in videos unless I have an issue with an RTO or wicking. Yeah, true, Bill, that's me. And if I haven't, I tend to skip bits of it to watch certain parts. And it's, it sounds really quite mean, but I do. And it's not being horrible. I just want to get to bits that I need to, I want to, I'm interested in. Exactly, Betty. They are arseholes. And Betty, you need to get onto our Zoom chat, into our calls one time, darling. You really do. So, moving on. Because look at the time. 
It's gone eight o'clock. I've been on an hour already, guys. An hour. And I've still got a few more questions. <laughs> I watch a few reviewers, but I do have favourites, which, by the way, I'm not saying <laughs> who they are. Liz, we would never uh, want you to tell everyone how much I'm your favourite. Never. <laughs> Not really. No, but you you never tell people that. You you can say who you like, but you should never say who your favourites are. Because it it's just it's no nobody else's business. Nobody else's business but your own. Betty. <laughs> hey, don't you so assholes like that? Hello? Right, so the next one. Excuse me, I'm I'm belching now and I'm really, really sorry. So it's about wattage. On on mods, of course. <laughs> So the wattage race on mods has been going for a few years now. What are your thoughts, guys? Worthwhile or not? Oh, Goobs, you're a sweetie. <laughs> I know, Liz. <laughs> I diamo, I diamo. <laughs> so, guys, what do you think? The wattage race on mods has been going on for a few years now. What are your thoughts on this? And is it worthwhile or not? This what is race that's going on? Why you think about that and give me your answers? I'm going to have a quick vape on <gasps> the book. I haven't done the review for it yet, guys. That's why I'm, I've got so much on the go. I'm testing, testing, testing. Someone did say that, Leaf. Were you right? So, what is race? Have I thrown you all now with that one? What are your thoughts? Worthwhile or not, this wattage race? I mean, what's the highest wattage they're going to go to at one point soon? And why? What are your thoughts, my darlings? What the fuck is the, wa is the wattage race? <laughs> Melinda said the same thing. <laughs> right. Everybody wants to get the, their mods, making mods to do better, bigger and higher wattage. Here you go. I think the wattage race meant improvements in battery life and how mods use batteries for safety. Yeah, and they always want bigger and better, bigger and better, and um, higher wattage as well. We've got that. You've got to think about that too. You know, is it worthwhile? Is it really? What's your thoughts? I mean, yeah, I want safety. You know, I want good battery life. But I don't need a mod that's going to go up to, I don't know, 500 watts. I think the wattage race is a case of my dick's a bit bigger than your dick. Yeah, Ian. So, oh, Betty's talking. Right, okay, maybe she's talking to Betty. It's not worth it. Yeah, John. I mean, we want safety. We want all that. I'm not fussed with the wattage race as long as the mod itself is safe to use. Exactly, yeah. I don't follow his sports. Timmy! <laughs> Irish. Fucking autocorrect. I'm not typing that a third time. <laughs> Melinda, I vape at the wattage I'm comfortable with. Each to their own, so long as it's safe. Yeah, and we, I mean, don't get me wrong. We want battery life to be better and this, that and the other. But do we really need it to go up to three, five hundred wattage? You know, and things like that. Liz. Get your ear and, well, my dick is way bigger than everyone else's. Yeah, Liz's is, like, hanging. <laughs> Bill, a high-power car is safer than you want. Oh, right, of course, 12 take. The wattage race is the same. Yeah, I suppose so. I like a cool vape, so 56 is my age. Funny you should say that, though. Look, 60. I don't know if it's showing up for you. 60 watt there. I do have some um, slightly higher, but... On a whole, 60. 60 to 70, I tend to be. Rog, I never go past 100 watts and don't see the point. That's, yeah, pr plenty warm enough for me. Yeah, I find 100 too warm for me. You need to see a doctor about that, Liz. She does, doesn't she? We've all seen Vic's face vaping on 200 watts. And to be honest, it doesn't look comfortable at that temp. No, it doesn't. I mean, I don't... I'm like, shall I wax them up? Uh, what should we whack up? Right, let's whack this one up. Right, let, here we go. Here we go. I think the triple battery mods are great. Yes, they are. Purely for battery life only. Can't see why you'd ever want to vape at 300 watts. No, I'm the same. 
Dr. Pass is out every time I try it. <laughs> I've got my Kelpie at 60 watts and most of my RDs are either 100 or 110. Right, I'm going to, I'm bringing this up, right? Let's see. Oh, it's Ram Robbins. I'm on the single, so it's a 90. That's all right. Actually, that's really nice. I like that night. I'm leaving it. So let's do a Yeehe one. Okay. Right. We started at 60. So let's go up. Oh, God. Right. Going up. Going up. Going up. Going up. Going up. Oh, we're at 100. We're at 200 watts. 200 watts, right? Michelle, hello. Um, I'm not looking forward to this, to be honest with you. But I've never done it at 200 watts, guys, so this is going to be a first. I've aped at 675, but a single battery will be damaged yet. Okay. I've just made sure I've got juice on the cotton hub. Wow, that takes my battery life right down, look. See that? 200. Hey, baby. I'm standing by that bucket of water just in case. Oh, he's standing by with a bucket of water just in case. <laughs> yeah, I've done. And I dripped. Right. That, that is too high for me. No dry hits, guys. I made sure I had lots of juice on it, but... That is too high for me. So I've got to now just whack this back down again. Ugh. Me little... That is too high at 200 for me. I'm going back down to... Uh, let's go 75 for a change. Oops. There we go. See, that's nice. Between 60 and 70 is nice. For me, usually, but 75 is all right on that. And funny enough, 90 is actually quite nice on that. Yeah, but I can't see it. Need to go out to the fire bucket now. Yeah, but I can't see it because, I, like I say, I, this is the one with the Yee Hee chip that I just did at 200. That's just too, that's just too hot for me. It really is. So I couldn't go any higher, you know, well, I couldn't even vape at 200. I know people can, but what's the point of going like 506, you were saying? But So, yeah, battery safety is a good thing, you know, and we want longer life on our batteries and all this, that and the other. So the wattage range, some are saying yay, some are saying nay. So what we've got next? Right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Funny we're on about it. So the next one's about pods, and I've got three actually on the go. I've actually got a few more on the table, but I've got three on the go. So with the release of the multitude of pods and mods that are very similar, is innovation dead? Oh, is innovation dead, guys? Since there's a lot of pods, a lot of mods, all similar, has innovation died at the moment? Oh, Michelle, what are you thinking of your Z-Bip? I'm actually loving mine. Last time I had a fat frog cocktail in the fire bucket list. Oh, that was beautiful, weren't it, Hubba? Oh, the cocktail was made in fire buckets so we could drink loads. But yeah, so with the release of a multitude of pods and mods that are very similar, is innovation did. Is it did, 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 did? What do you think, guys? Has it died at the moment? Are we waiting for that next new thing? What? Yeah, we're all, they're all very, I'm trying to think what I've got now that's similar on the desk. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> My dot mod, lipo mod, goes to 300 watts, but I would never go that high yet. 
innovation doesn't die it hibernates there you go i mean look at the attestants yeah so has it gone into hibernation this would that have been a better way to put it has it gone into hibernation at the moment i like it but i have a problem with the coils flooding out so i'm not sure long really your coils flood out mine don't i've had no problems with mine michelle how weird the innovation is still alive and well but good design is suffering yet yeah. Hello, Des, my sweet. Mwah, nice to see you, baby. Melinda, I think we've hit a bit of a plateau. Ooh, that's the word of the night, plateau. But that will hopefully create a push for more innovation to stand out for the rest. Yeah, hopefully. Antoinette, I don't use pods, just don't like them. Others do, I'm sure. I do use pods. I use a lot for review. I wouldn't have as many as I have if it weren't for the fact for reviewing, though. So, hmm. Craig. I think most companies are just jumping on the pod bandwagon. A lot of the pod systems do look the same. They do. They really do. It was like drinking. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, puppy, he's all about the drink. Way too many pod mods are just copies of others. Yep. Stagnated. Yeah, it has for a bit. I would say that. I'm looking for older mods now. Really, Tattoo? I how old you want to go? i've got an old i have got here one of my old mods it's not dead dead old obviously but it is she says what is it the e-leaf i stick 30 watt when i got this i thought it was the dog's bollocks <laughs> thought it was the best thing ever 30 watts <laughs> i don't i don't know mines though jules so it could be flooding them out oh that's a shame right Mine are fine. It's really weird. So, innovation's probably just gone into a bit of a hibernation. I have an iJoy Avenger. I've got an iJoy. I so, see, so I've had a long time, a long time on vaping right now. Yeah, I've still got mine, actually. But this is older than an iJoy Avenger. This is old. Bill, I had the Elif, I stick 20 watt. I probably did as well, but I've got rid of loads. But Stevie found this um, when he was clearing out. And he goes, oh, you want to be in this one? I was like, no, I'm keeping that one. It's precious to me. It's my it's my ring. <laughs> it's precious, baby, precious. Irish is talking to my husband. Ian, I still have my Vamo, yeah, V5 and it still works. Yeah, mine still works, look. Needs an atomizer on, look, but it still works. Still working, really happy with that. Yeah, I had the iStick 20 watt too. Yeah, I know, exactly. I mean, we've all had old stuff. I've, yeah, got them. I just, I have the E-Leaf. Yeah, just to really like and like it. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with, if you like something, to use it. I mean, at the end of the day, we've all got something different and we all like different things. Don't give me ideas. No, don't give my husband ideas. Not unless it's ideas to buy me things. Then you can give him ideas. I've tried some the is it, I can't even say it words subliminal messages. You know when he's asleep in bed snoring, <laughs> and I've I've been going buy me diamonds, buy me diamonds, buy me diamonds. Tant worked, tant worked, and I've been doing it for years. Tant worked, it don't work on that pish. Yes, Timmy, I'm glad it's actually slowed down a bit because it means we can catch up with some of the stuff. But um, I don't like the fact that there's so much of the same sort of thing. My old stuff is currently casting on YouTube. Oh, thanks a lot, hubby, since I'm younger than you. Not very nice. Not very nice at all. Don't laugh at him, Irish. How dare she laugh at him? Stop it. Stop it now. He's been replying, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> You can see why we love each other so much and get on, isn't it? Because <laughs> if we didn't, it would cost a fortune to get divorced. <laughs> hello, nice guy. Hello, hello, hello. Who makes that, that mod, Jules? Which mod? The E-Leaf one. <laughs> or oh, you're on about this one that I've got here, the Z-Bip. It's an Inakin. You need to take the pillow off his face and he might hear you. Yeah, true. I'll try that tonight. Oh, yeah, really? Do you really have to use headphones to get it to work? I can't. Can you imagine me trying to put headphones on Stevie while he's asleep? Jules, you need to say it from his perspective. Try. Buy Jules diamonds. See if that helps. Right, I'll try that tonight. 
by Jules Diamonds. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, gonna try it, gonna try it. If I don't get no diamonds, you're all in trouble. <laughs> right, my next one. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Gosh, this. Oh, we've been going for nearly an hour and a half, by the way. That's cool. What's it? Jules, you need to be careful. Stevie might turn up with a set of diamond drill bits from work. That's true. That's true. I need to rethink what I'm asking for. So here's a question for you, because we're all vapors. Do you think you will ever stop vaping? Or do you think you'll stop vaping, say, in the near future? Let's do it that way. Hello, Ronnie, my darling. Hello, sweetie pie. So do you think in the near future you will stop vaping? Oh. Thank you, babe. I'm his diamond. It better be me, you on about not the fucking bird or the kid, one of the kids. But yeah, so do you think you will stop vaping in the near future? I know for a fact, me, I won't. Do you think you will? I can't see it happening. I love vaping. It's it's more about the flavours now than anything. I love the flavours. No chance, says RTC. No chance. Excuse me. What did Iris take the words of Iris? He's going to come back with buy Stevie a motorcycle. No, I've, I've already done that. I bought him a motorbike before. He's had one. I will definitely stop vaping one day. I take up smoking briefly. Okay, yeah, and take up smoking briefly. No, I don't want to stop. Nope, I enjoy vaping. Everyone needs a hobby and something they enjoy. Yep. Ian's the same, no way. Village, fuck that. I've spent this much to quit. Yeah, well, yeah, village. Good God, if you stopped vaping, oh, you've spent a fortune. No, I like vaping. Exactly, Liz. I think, and we're all dropping, I know a lot of us drop a nicotine, and I don't mind being zero. My, my husband's zero, Nick, and still enjoys vaping. And Bill Richards is a zero Nick man, and um, still enjoys vaping. Liz loves it, so we know that. Rog, no, I'm only just beginning to get into the social side of things. It's like one big family, it is. Dares, Jules, if I did stop, what? <gasps> Want to could, oh, Dares, you can stop. I, I will have that. I will have your collection, actually, darling. <laughs> I'll stop vaping, sure, when I'm in my coffin. Yeah, Irish, I'll be the same. Bill, they, they, they don't fuck about it in the creme. No, Rev, I love vaping, so no, exactly. It is the flavours, Antonio, it, isn't it? And I, I sometimes do vape zero, Nick. Um, when I do my juice reviews, they're all zero. And I'll be vaping them. I don't care. So, yeah, I don't mind. It's about the flavour. I've got dibs on the kadam. No, you haven't, hubby. Oh, you can buy me one then. How about that? That's my, that's my subliminal message for him. Right, Craig's still on six milligram. Okay, but six, You when you think about it, what did you start on? What did you start on? Because, I mean, I've gone down to three. Sometimes I'm on zero. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm on 20 milligram on my pod salts, but this one, this has got no nicotine in it. Excuse me, none at all, because it's my subida. No nicotine in there. Excuse me again. Yeah, the flavours are just amazing. And I think that is a big part of it for a lot of us as well. And the family, we, we've, we've kind of built up this family relationship. I've got the hiccups. You have to excuse me. How about get fucked, Jules? <laughs> 18. So, Craig, from 18 to 6, you've done well. I was on 30-something. Get him to buy me one, two, three. Yep, Liz, no bother. I'll try that as well for you. If there were no flavours, then I wouldn't bother vaping. Yeah, I'd be the same, actually, Rev. If there was no flavours and we couldn't DIY it, neither, I would stop. I really would. Bill started at 18 as well there. Ian's on 3 Matt MG, direct to lung, 9 MG. No, sorry. M direct to lung is 3 MG, 9 MG is my after lung, yeah. Social side is a big thing now. It is, Bill. And I would miss that. If I stopped vaping, I would miss this. The, the community, the family, the friendships that I've built. Because obviously, we've probably none of us would have crossed paths. 
because we've all got different lifestyles. When you think about it, every one of us are different and we are so different in personalities, this, that and the other. And if it weren't for the vaping scene, we probably wouldn't have even become friends and got to know each other. So, yeah, Irish is down to six milligrams. 30, uh, that's what I started on, 36. Yeah, so brilliant. Pfft, hubby. Yeah, John, and no one's saying it's bad to be on 12. I'm glad you're happy with it because I, I think when you find where you're happy, that's it. But I'm, I was just thinking, would you stop vaping? Because I love it. Even if I went down to zero, I think I'd still be vaping. I really, really enjoy the flavours. I enjoy the community. I enjoy the meetups that we have and the chatting. I like the live streaming and shooting the shit we all. I like the reviewing. Or, well, do I review? I, I give my thoughts. But I like it all. I like that the whole scene. I don't like any drama. Everyone knows that. Ugh, don't do drama. But... I like everything else and that's why I enjoy doing things that make you go mmm because on my channel when we do that you can't shout at somebody for having a different opinion because you've got to respect everyone's opinion is different and there's no right or wrong answer because depending on that person will depend on how they see things so yeah so I've got one because we've all said why so I've got one more question for I finish said oh my god I've done hour and a half guys how many of you have managed to save money from not smoking and and by not smoking and now vaping? How many of you managed to save money? Now, Village, I know you aren't. <laughs> yeah, David, happy on three milligrams, so am I. We are family. Nicotine is not the villain people try to make it out to be. Vapors can easily drop the nicotine. Yeah, exactly, Rev. I know someone on one of my groups that stopped vaping after many years. He then got into shaving. The community on Facebook and YouTube is massive. He's got his community fixed back. Yeah, there you go. Hello, Dimmy. You all right, my sweet? Yeah, it's funny you're here because, look, I've got... I'm on... I just dropped a pair of glasses on the floor. Oh, well. I'm on the armadillo. Let me pick them up. Pick them up. The glasses. It's all right. They're not mine. The Steve is. Um, yeah, armadillo. But, yeah, how much... No, Stevie hasn't saved any money. <laughs> Never have I. No, none of us. We started off... I must admit, when I first went on to vaping nine years ago, I did save money. <laughs> and then I got into doing this. Roy, why is everyone worried about the level of nicotine? No one is. At three or six milligrams, it's the same level as caffeine and it's not the harmful substance we moved away from smoking for. No one was worried about it, Roy. We was actually on... What we was... Uh, my question actually was is if you'd ever stopped vaping. But, so we've moved on to my last one. How many of you managed to, sh to save money from not smoking and going to vaping? And if Village says yes... I will slap his legs when he comes to stay here in the summer. I, I, two armadillos. I'm a bit thick, I am. I've given to family and friends, yeah. I was smoking 60 a day, so now I am about breaking even. Brilliant. But that is good then if you're breaking even, because I'm not. <laughs> but hey, I don't mind. Lo, I spend a lot on e-liquid, but I'm saving money for sure. There you go. Although I've, I've slowed down a bit on buying shinies. You have, hubby. I'm not saving, but investing in the steel, brass and copper industry. That's what we're doing, Timmy. That's what we're all doing then, <laughs> village. Save money. What is this phrase? I've never heard of this. You see, I knew there was something. I knew village wouldn't be able to say you save money from coming off the ciggies. I still love you, baby. And I still use it. It's, it's, on, it's on my daily rotation. Yeah, you're, so Ronnie's missus says it'd be cheaper smoking if he was smoking again. And do you know what? It probably would be cheaper if I smoked again. <laughs> and, but Stevie wouldn't have it. Don't get me wrong. Even though it would be cheaper, he wouldn't want me smoking again. Really wouldn't. He was he nagged me for so long. But, but I weren't going to stop until I was ready. No, you can't take it with you. And do you know what? You come into the world with nothing. You go out in nothing. Apart from a shroud. So, you know what I mean? Now, I enjoy it. And if, if vaping is what you enjoy and spending your money on your shinies and that, then why not? If that's what makes you happy. We're not doing anything wrong. We're not going out there and raping and pillaging and murdering and, you know, all that pish. We don't do any of that. Armadillo. Soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside. There you go, Ian. I've done it. 
How much is a life? Yeah. Oh, I needed that vape. Oh, and it's still at 90, look. It's actually not bad on the single, but I think it's because the, obviously it's not as... The wattage won't be, you know, reached. I think if I went 90 on this, it would be totally different. Liz, are we including su supporting reviewers that, through Patreon and buying merch? Because if we are, then I'm definitely not saving. Well, yeah, I suppose we are, we are, really, Liz. We are, because it's still part of the vaping, isn't it? Irish is talking to Ian. That's fine. Give me good night, sweetie. God, good night, sweet. I love you, migraine. Oh no, get some rest. Love you, baby. Catch you soon. But yeah, I mean, come on, guys. We, you know, we've done well. Jules, sorry. Yeah, nurse said night, darling. Love you. Bye, baby. Bye. Well, that was my last question, though, guys. So a lot of us are saying we haven't saved money, and we all know why because we we love all this new stuff, don't we? you know, the next new thing, or it doesn't even know, and I don't mean mod-wise, it could be a juice, you get your favourite juice company and you buy their stuff, Melinda says, so yeah, I think I'm saving, oh there you go, someone's saving, brilliant, right, I'm going to read it now, so yeah, I think I'm saving, especially seeing as at my worst, I was a pack of 30s a day smoker, really, right, okay, so, you, you see, I'm not, but I didn't smoke a great deal anyway in the day. So, yes, Melinda has done well. Wow. A pack of 30s. Wow. But, yeah, I weren't um, a... Ma I, don't get me wrong. I, in the earlier days, I was I was probably... The most I ever smoked was, like, 20 a day. Um, In the later, t later time... I was probably more of a 10 a day, weren't I, babes? What do you think? About 10? So, so for me, I am not actually saving money, but I'm helping my health and people around me. 100 a day, did you, Bill? Whoa. Was there another answer above that one, Melinda? Sorry, I missed it. Hold on, hold on. I've got to find Melinda's other answer. Melinda, I tend to only buy Juice Expo. Oh, wait, it's gone too fast again. Where is it gone? And I don't have a huge number of mods, so I think I'm... Ah, that'll explain it then. Yes, of course. Yeah, I got it. I caught it. Liz, you were smoking rollies, so I'm not spending shit loads more. No. See, I know, I, went to, I didn't smoke rollies either. I, I, ugh. Because I used to... I tried them. I ate more than I smoked. I, I just... No, rollies just weren't for me. And they were too strong, I found, for me personally. I may not have saved money, but I'm pretty certain I've saved myself the torture of ill health. Yeah, so all that is a bargain. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Antoinette, 60 a day for you. Wow. When you was on the squid. The squid? The, the six. Wow. No, that weren't good. But so vaping, even if we're not saving money, we are saving ourselves in a way, aren't we? I've gone from 50 quid a week to probably 30 quid a month. Smoke free for three months now. Well done, Elsid. That's brilliant. Yeah, you was a chain smoker at the weekends, hubby. Yeah. So, you know, you think about it, although we are spending a lot more money, you think about how many people smoked in their house where their children were or around their children. You're just pushing the push chair with a cigarette. And giving, you know, we were giving our, our children secondhand smoke, weren't we? And I can hold minds up. You know, I, I was a smoker when I, I, I had three children and I was a smoker. So I, I'm, I'm as guilty as that as well. No, Bill, I, I can, a lot of people I think won't be. But I know you, you said before that you won't be if you were still smoking. And I'm glad you're not smoking anymore because you're absolutely an amazing guy. Yeah, until you got into DIY. You were saving money until you got into DIY making liquid. David, DIY is so much cheaper. <laughs> we DIY here. Don't get me wrong, we've got a shitload of liquid because I review, but yeah. Yeah, Liz, I'm happy you're spending my money now. I really am, Mo bro. I haven't saved much money, but gave up when I started mixed martial arts and kickboxing. So my health has no monetary value. It's health benefits all the way. Exactly, Mo, it is. And you think about it, like I said, look how many of us. I mean, I still see it now. Women walking down the street or the dads, blokes, whatever, pushing a pushchair and smoking. 
they're outside. But still, they're smoking over that child, you know. And you think, how many of us actually did that, you know? So, and not just to our children. We'd be smoking out on the street. People are around us. We never give it a second thought. Never did. Craig, the good thing is you don't feel too much pressure to have the most recent mod tank or dripper. If it works for you, it works. Then the main thing. Yeah, it is. Exactly, Andrew. It's guilty of that too. Yeah, I, I was. Coming up this November will be five years since I quit. Well done. Well done, Mo. You see, mine's nine years. So what, that's brilliant. Ian, I wish I had fan vaping before I had to have an arterial, arterial, I can't even say it, arterial bypass, a toe amputated and two blood clots in the other leg. Wow. Yeah, I wish you had then, if it would have helped you with that. I really do. Mo's, Mo's not so bad. Not hung over now. So November of five year vape anniversary. Yes, it is. Hello, ghost. You come in and it's, I'm just about to finish. Actually, I've gone off an hour over. <coughs> What's Bill say? I can go to the shops and eat well. I can buy things I want without worrying. Yeah, Melinda. Honestly, vaping had not only helped my physical health but also my mental health. It saved my my family the cost of a funeral and my husband being a single dad and my son without a mum. Yeah, Melinda, and I can totally, totally agree with that. Totally agree with that as well. Because it, it is. Because it brought me out of my, my shell with people, you know, um, talking with people, mixing, socialising. To me, this is, I'm socialising with you. You're all my friends. Thank you, Antoinette. Yeah, you uh, to me, you're my friends. People who support me, I support them. You know, I just think we, we are a family. And I love all of you. You know I do. I'm just, you know, nut job, nut job, nut job. Right, guys, if you haven't given the um, show a thumbs up or a thumbs down, please make sure you do. I've had a great time with you all. We have gone over half an hour longer than we should. <laughs> I usually do seven to eight. It's now seven to and half past eight so we've done an hour and a half the time has just gone whoosh, really really fast so it has it's been really great it really has and i love you all muchly and i've now got to figure out what i'm doing um yeah i know what i'm doing <laughs> yeah i love you all muchly thank you guys thank you so much for coming in shooting the shit with me having a laugh and everything like that i really do love you all and i'll catch you all on the next one bye Piss flaps. Piss flaps, piss flaps, piss flaps.